And welcome back to the channel, guys. Gvids here. I hope everyone has had a Merry Christmas so far and a Happy Holidays. Uh, New Year's is coming around the corner, so I hope everyone has a safe New Year's as well. But today's video, we're going to be making some shine, and we're just going to go over pretty much one of the easiest shines to make, uh, so you don't have to waste any of your wild flowers. Um, this shine is not necessarily worth the most, it's just under the $200 mark, or around the $200 mark, and this poison poppy, I can't figure out uh, where the hell to get that recipe from. But anyways, we're going to be doing the tropical punch, guys. It's one of the easiest ones out there. Um, all we need to do is pretty much go to the store and buy two of the ingredients, and then the wild f or the vanilla flour, which is uh, scattered all around the bayou. Um, I'm going to show you guys a few locations for that. But other than that, that's all you need to do, and it's super easy. It's only worth two hundred dollars, but it's a super easy brew to do, and I honestly think it's worth keeping those wild flowers uh, to sell them to Madame Nazar. Um, as a set of flowers, I think we're going to get more money out of that way than we would um, selling it for a few hundred dollars uh, within a bottle of moonshine. But I haven't fully compared that yet. But uh, anyways, let's go out here and find some vanilla flowers. They are scattered all over the place. I'm going to run around in some circles here. Went the wrong way. First one here is right in front. I've already grabbed it but it is at this location here again I am in the bayou this is where my uh, shack is I personally love having it here I haven't experimented anywhere else so I can't fully judge anything but I haven't ran into any issues or drown uh, drag backs so to speak um, from this location so far uh, but there are short runs around and you can pretty much uh, grab at least three or four every time you show up to your shack and you fill up very quickly. Um, it's a very easy flower to grab uh, and the other two items you just need to go to the store for which makes this brew um, for me uh, one of the ones that I kind of do back to back more than the other ones. Um, I don't mind losing out on uh, like forty, forty-five dollars or so. Um, I'd rather keep my wildflowers and save them for sets and sell them to Madame Nazar and get more money out of her that way. But let's move on to the next sauce here, guys. Like I said, they are scattered all around us. Very easy to find. I actually like finding them at nighttime um, because the glow off the tree is just a little bit brighter and it's easier to see. But those are two spots here, make it nice and easy. And then after here, all we need to do is go on over to the store. And when I'm at the store, guys, my high suggestion is obviously buy as much as you can. Uh, I pretty much uh, do that until uh, I start getting that lag, processing lag sort of thing. But other than that, it's a super easy brew. Uh, so let's go and get this... Um, last few ingredients here, the canned goods and the pears. So we're just going to pop on over to the store. That's why I like this location because I am actually right between the two cities. I can either go into Saint Denis or I can go into Rhodes and there's also a fast travel either in Rhodes um, or just in the swamps there and which is just above me, very close. So like I said, go ahead and buy everything you personally can cans, peaches, fruits, and vegetables. Whatever you're not going to eat, you can definitely save. Anyways guys, I am going to continue buying what I need here, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably do some hunting now that uh, I've, I've noticed that there's some been animals in my lobby here, so I'm going to take advantage of that. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it did help you out at all, make sure you share, like, and subscribe. I will catch you on the next one. Peace.